Be playing around with the idea of becoming a freelance POC programmer? Well, stick around. We're going to talk about that today. So this video is going to help two different people, and we're going to use the same strategy. This video is meant for anybody who is new to PLC programming, maybe even just a couple of months into it, and seasoned professionals. And we're going to use the same strategy, and both of them have the same motivations when it comes to wanting uh, to do freelance PLC programming. And we're going to talk about why you'd want to do it, where you can find the work, and how to really benefit from it, all right? Okay, so why would you want to do it? That's what we're going to begin with first. You're going to want practice, not just, not just learning to code through a training program, but real-world practice on real-world um, projects. And that's something that's incredibly valuable, right? The second most important reason is you want to use that to build your portfolio. And, and that is something that's, again, is incredibly valuable. We use that portfolio to demonstrate our competence with uh, prospective employers. All right. The third most valuable reason you'd want to do it is to grow a network. You will learn how to communicate with people, create relate professional level relationships, um, and that is something that's incredibly valuable. Okay. So, what could you do? What could a new uh, person learning, a new professional learning the automation trade, what could they do? Well, if you know just enough, you could do CAD files, you could do HMI, you could build HMI files, you could do some basic PLC programming. Uh, there's, there's just a, a myriad of things. Just those three right there can keep you very, very busy. So um, if you did nothing else but offer those three, you would get a lot of benefit from it just offering those three services. Where would you get this work? I mean, even if you new enough and if you agree with why I suggest you do it, where are you going to find this work? Well, I think one of the best places is your current employer. I can almost guarantee you that your maintenance team or your leadership team has equipment that either does not have uh, an electrical print, for example, or has an outdated one or has chicken scratch all over it and would love an updated print, right? So one of the first things you'd want to do is talk to your employer and ask them, hey, there, there's a really terrible print out on, you know, the injection machine. I would like to be able to take that on as a project and update that electrical print for the maintenance team. And I, and I would appreciate that opportunity. All right. We'll talk about compensation here in a minute. So most importantly, you find that opportunity. All right, and there are they're all over the place. Okay, PLC programs, getting a copy of the program, offering to make a small edit, small change, and we'll talk about how to how to guarantee that you can make these edits and changes, and that they're they're done safe, and that you look like the professional that you you are growing into being. Now, if you're a senior senior uh, PLC program, like the exact same thing, offering to do some work for your employer on the side is one of the most viable ways to start building a portfolio that you will use to uh, gain prospective employers down the road. Okay, very simple, um, and. Employers are the best, first and best place to start. The second place, go on web forums, so plctalk.net, for example, any of the electrical uh, forums, uh, tons and tons of uh, um, uh, groups on Facebook that are out there. Even a lot of the training courses, uh, you'll, you'll find that in the training courses there are, there are you can network with people who, who might be able to feed you some opportunities. The point is, Put yourself out there. That's what's real important. Put yourself out there and ask for opportunities, all right? Um, very important. So any of the forums, your employer, your forums. And one of the other things you could do is literally just get on the phone and call uh, controls companies in your local area or even around the world, really, if you think about it. Call them up and ask them. Tell them that you're, you're new, you're trying to build a portfolio, looking for uh, opportunities to be able to... Um, to help them as well as use for your portfolio. It's very important um, uh, for you to, to learn how to reach out, how to talk to people, and, and tell them a little bit about yourself, right? And why you're doing it. 
you have to believe that this is incredibly valuable for you to get on the on the phone and ask people if they have projects uh, for you. Now, it's going to take a lot, a lot of phone calls, a lot of reaching out, but do it. Plan on doing it a couple of, you know, 10, 20 times a week, reaching out and asking for opportunities. You're just trying to build your portfolio. That's what's important. Now, let's talk about compensation because it's a, it's, it's, in a way, it's a lot of why we're doing what we're doing. We're being compensated for by an employer to be a controls engineer, automation professional, PLC programmer, and that's why we do. That's how, kind of what leads us into the industry. However, when you're new, it's very important to know that you have a lot more um, negotiable compensation uh, opportunities than you might have at first imagine. And we'll talk about just a few of them. One of them is, the first one I would start with is that you're going to ask for the to be able to use them as a as a reference, such as I did I, I, I did an AutoCAD for you. Would you mind if I I could use you as a reference for this work that I've done? And you can imagine that if you've done 20, 30, 40, 50 different projects for different companies that uh, and you and let's say you received no monetary compensation. But you have all these companies that you've done some work for. When you go to talk to a, per, a prospective employer, that's really powerful. Okay, and that's the for a beginner. This is what's the most valuable for you. You might imagine you're going to have a really a lot of real world practice. You have a really strong portfolio, and you're literally networking with prospective employers. Okay, so let's say you call up a a. Um, a controls company and you offer to do CAD for them, you're, you're hitting this with them throughout a, throughout a year, two years. If that CAD company has created a good, strong relationship with you, they get to know what your strengths and, and where your weaknesses are at, and an opportunity comes by that they hear about, you're going to be one of the first people they're going to refer. It's just that simple. So reaching out, asking for opportunities, and just, uh, just asking for um, the ability to use them as a referral incredibly valuable okay um, you just can't buy that kind of that kind of opportunity so it's worth hitting go, getting out there every week and asking for these opportunities okay very important you can ask for compensation okay especially if you're a senior professional right senior engineer it you can do it and the biggest mistake most professional senior professionals will make is they will underprice themselves okay so Hopefully by the time you're a senior engineer, uh, senior programmer, you have an idea of what the market price is, right? So in order to begin to build your portfolio, I would uh, give a discount. I would make that less expensive for a prospective employer um, to get some of that work done. Again, you're trying to build your portfolio, which is really important, okay? You're also trying to create relationships and build your network so that you can have a prospective job opportunity. So um, that's really important. You'll notice that the strategy works for both. Um, and, and that's very important. We want to simplify things. So what you want to do to begin this is you want to craft what you're going to say verbally and what you're going to say via in the email. And that's a great way of doing it, sending it out via email. And I would open up with, hey, I'm trying to build my portfolio. Okay. That's that's, I mean, that's not the first letter. Introduce yourself very smoothly. But hey, this is Paul. Uh, my name is Paul Godinas, and I am a POC programmer. And right now, I'm trying to build my portfolio, and I'm looking for any AutoCAD projects or any any small POC programs that I might be able to help you with. And I'm not asking for compensation other than the ability to be able to use you as a referral uh, somewhere down the line. Down the line. Um, when I'm interviewing for prospective job. And really that's it. Now, what I would do is I would wait two, three days and then shoot another email, make another phone call. Um, because you know, if they're like me, my emails, I get slammed with them and or I'm so busy out on the floor and working here and doing that, traveling, that uh, I don't, I, it's hard sometimes to keep up on the email. So give them three, four days, reach back out, um, and I would do that probably about two times. Then I'd move to someone else. But then keep them on the list and circle back, okay? 
it's, it should be very easy for you to come up with a hundred different companies out there that you can reach out to, a hundred different uh, opportunities, web forums, um, even department managers, reach into different departments and ask them for those opportunities, all right? So I think there's an incredibly valuable strategy to get real world practice on real world projects, build your portfolio and, and strengthen and or build a really strong um, network of prospective employers, potential projects for you, all right? So uh, this is really what I want to share with you today. This is Paul with Logix Magazine. Hey, if you like this video, uh, do me a favor, um, subscribe, like, hit the bell, um, and stay, that, that we can stay up to date when we put out a new video. And if you got any other ideas about how you can reach out and um, find these opportunities, um, you know, any, uh, any companies that could use some help, I have a, a handful of uh, people I'm working with that are always looking for projects to uh, build their portfolio. So just reach out and let me know. If you have any comments, questions, just put it down below. I'd love to communicate with you, all right? So until next time, you guys uh, get out there. Send some emails, make some phone calls, uh, maybe even make some business cards uh, with your name and say, hey, um, POC programming, and um, there you go. Put your phone number out there. Become a real professional. And don't, be, don't let the fact that you're new get in the way, all right? Don't let that get in the way. Get out there, introduce yourself, and let them know that you're new and you're looking for those entry-level uh, type of projects, all right? Don't be afraid. That's the biggest thing that'll hurt you. All right, so until next time, okay, you guys enjoy.